Shane Strauss. And you see the, you see the leg reach from Manya Mala. He's got a little bit of an advantage there. When he throws his legs out there, he's got a little bit of leg reach. We'll see if he's able to utilize it. 90 seconds left here in the round. Yeah, going for a few, a few leg kicks is Tamalo. Salahuddin using that. A brief microsecond to come forward and clinch up. There was a nice straight right from Tamalo. They went straight down the middle. And Shady just ate it. And we're back to square one with the clinch up. And this time it's uh, Plykes who's actually pushing the pressure on Manu Marley, even though he's got that underhook in the seatbelt position. He's trying to look for turning around, and he does. Good work from Tamerlo. So close in the clinch. I mean, stylistically, Cyrus, these guys just match up so well, and that's playing out in before us. Technically, and in terms of cardio-wise, this is an absolutely su superb display of MMA. I mean, the f this, this round has just flown past. We've only got 50 seconds left. Not a lot of time here to score. Manyamala able to work that knee up there. Is it going to be the, the strikes that have landed for Jamela Manyamala that give him the advantage in this very tight round? Uh, it has been razor, razor close here in this round, but Manyamala has been able to land some elbows, some knees, and that may be the deciding factor. Yeah, and again, Tamela just showing really nice balance. So Hadin tries the hip throw and just a quick step around to the right prevents it from Manyamala. Great awareness, really, from both lads. I mean, this clinch work is, is so tight and so close and so difficult, um, and yet they're really showing a real good display. They're cancelling each other out stylistically, but the high level, the absolute giving that round, just out of shade to Tamerlo. And Mike uh, Menemini got to be really happy with that performance with Tamerlo against a relatively, oh, it's a good shot. Shetty just ate it as he came in. Round two gets started courtesy of Dragon Energy. They're all tied up. Manyamala was able to get a few shots off, and then Blykeys closes the distance to see if he's able to do anything with it. And that's one thing that Manyamala has been able to capitalize on are the knees to the body, to the solar plexus, then even to the head. And I think maybe he's done a little bit of damage here on Blykeys as he forces him to the ground. Yeah, again, good balance from Tamela. Oh, look for the throw, but he didn't quite have it. He's got the back, and he's got the neck. I don't think he's got it clinched in. It's difficult to see from this position. No, he hasn't. He's let go of it. He's going to keep hold of that underhook and get some strikes in, which he does. And he's got to keep hold of the back. There's Cyrus. Let's take a look at the in-play odds brought to you from World Sports Betting. As Manu Marlin now has just moved towards the favorite position, a 1.82 betting line. It's Plyke's at two on it as a marginal outsider now. That's changing a bit. Some shots there on the right hand coming from Tamerlo. There's a, there's a bit of a triangle going on, but there's a north-south oh. position, so Tamerlo's not really any particular danger. No, not at all. Just an uncomfortable position right now for Tamerlo. And uh, but Manyamala able to put his knees up on the shoulders to kind of force Plakies to let go of his neck. They're all tied up like a pretzel. And trying to make oh. sense out of this is very, very difficult. There's a nice, solid hammer fist. Yeah, it was a big shot. He's got to be careful, Tamela. He's dangerous off his back, his plikeys. But this is from very nice control from Tamela. Almost a sweep. But, uh, couldn't get any purchase to keep him down there, could plikeys. And they reset back on the feet. Nice ground control from Tamela Manumala against uh, BJ Jackson. Beautiful right eye kick, oh, and Shady's oh, down. Referee Shari Strauss is stopping it. Shireen's going to stop it. And now, clearly, Manumala wow. hit a very devastating shot. But Shireen had already started moving in. Yeah, he and was Simon, I'll go to you on this. Because I, I don't know what call I want to make on this, if this was too quick or not. It seems like she she already moved in, maybe thought it would be a little bit more than what it was. Like he seems to be handling it very well. Simon, what's your call on that? Yeah, he was certainly wobbled hugely. I mean, he, he stumbled back. Uh, he was certainly rocked. Um, Referee Sharon Strauss stepped in really quickly to prevent any follow-up shots. 
Uh, that's a tough one. You know, I, I know that uh, it is. It's it's. If Tamalo Manuel was given the space to follow up with that, I think it, it would have been done. I mean, Shady was on on wobbly legs. He doesn't seem to be professing the stoppage anyway, shape or form. So let's give Not the props to the fighter to make that kind of decision. We've seen that so many times when we talk about early stoppages. The fighter will be the first person, as we see, like Tamalo Manuel, just showing some beautiful display on the on the ground. And that nasty left hammer fist that resounded through the arena. Yeah. Good control for Manu Mara, but that's the shot. And he's flailing. Well, I mean, just a split second that he that he let his hand down. And just a split second. So there it is. I mean, very, very stunned. Jirene's already in. Most likely, Tamela's going to finish that. I would have liked to seen it play out. That being said, uh, you can't really fault the referee. She felt it was the best safety. So uh, he felt like maybe that was the right call. So you got to appreciate the sportsmanship. With that being said, it appears that we have our official decision ready to go. We'll send it back down to Hotso Belaudomopo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Shari Strauss has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes and 13 seconds of the second round, declaring your winner by TKO due to strikes in the blue corner. Tumelo, Bones of Steel, Mayamala! I'm here with Tumelo. Tumelo is such a, an experienced opponent, but your control on the ground and then the timing of that right high kick was absolutely superb. What was the game plan that PFA and Mike Menemini sorted out for you, particularly for Salah Houdin? Man, we know he's a, he's a nice, scrappy boxer, love to by 30 and all that we know he's a jiu-jitsu guy but we work on everything as i said before wrestling jets boxing kickboxing even flipping taekwondo who knows <laughs> what what did mike menemini say to you coming out of that first round because it was very even in the stand-up a lot of clinch were up, uh, up against the fence what did mike tell you before you came out into round two? Oh man he, he told me to land those knees and then in the moment of a second i heard him say land that right head kick and i landed it you know so Mike called for it and you delivered. What is next for you? Because you're undefeated in the EFC. You're showing yet again possible championship contendership. Man, I'll just take anyone that comes my way. I'm not in a rush. I'm young. I'm here to stay and clear out the division. Very impressive. Congratulations, my friend. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Bones of Steel to Melo Manyamala. Tremendous victory there for Manyamala. That striking pinpoint accuracy, right place, right time. And uh, he was on the money when it came to his stand-up. That is 3-0 for Manyamala. And I can't wait to see what is next for this young prospect. Very, very special fighter.